being in Airbnb for the last week in Kamloops, that the bed was so high I had to run at it <laughs> to get in. <laughs> That's not what I want to talk about. I see what you mean, Sarah. Can't be talking about it. All right. <laughs> so I was sitting on the dock, having a gin and tonic on Lac Saint Joseph with my friend, when all of a sudden a pair of dragonflies alighted on my Muskoka chair, and I was looking at them, and they were doing this. Now they were clearly doing it but it looked like they were doing it at the wrong end. <laughs> so I went up the stairs <laughs> into the cottage and I Googled <laughs> the sex life of dragonflies. <laughs> and you can do this too. The first headline I came across said, female dragonflies feign death to avoid having sex. Ah! <laughs> hey, man, sister. <laughs> now, I can relate to that. Can you? <laughs> I mean, I feigned a headache. It's a good strategy. I feigned a period. Well, I can't get away with that anymore, obviously. <laughs> But the dragonfly sisters, they go whole hog. <laughs> They'll be flying and in midair they freeze, plummet to the earth, and take a death throw paw, paw just to ward off male suitors. What is that about? Well, apparently what happens when the male dragonfly are looking to me. They enter the swamp, and first of all, they're like, there's hundreds of thousands of dragonflies, and they gotta find just the right species. So when they do, they grab on to the back of the female's neck, like grim death, okay? And then their penis is at the top of their thorax, and it's dark. So the first thing it does is scrape out of the female all sperm that might have been previously deposited <laughs> in the female. <laughs> you can look this up. <laughs> then, of course, after scraping it all out, then comes time to impregnate the female. But the problem for the male dragonfly is this penis has no sperm in it. The sperm is in a gland at the bottom of the abdomen. So the male is hanging on his penis. He's got his penis up here, and it has to heave up the sperm on the inside from the gland at the bottom of the abdomen to get it up into the proper position. which is last in, first out. <laughs> so then the male comes back and flies around the female to prevent other males from doing the same thing it just did. Now, why am I telling you that? <laughs> After I looked this up, it occurred to me that this is akin to professional speaking training. <laughs> you see, oh God, first of all, you have to grab your audience's interest and hang on to it while they're picking up their phones or whatever else they do and get a good grip. Then you take your intellectual metaphor or penis and scrape out whatever was in there before. <laughs> Oh, you. Then, <laughs> you need 
to dig deep into the well of fertile ideas and stories and get it up. <laughs> <laughs> Just... <laughs> the right form so that you can impregnate your audience with your ideas and your stories. Right? And then you gotta hover around them and send them videos and swabs. <laughs> so that no one else can fertilize. <laughs>